Hello and God bless you. Do you have just a minute to pause and to listen and to learn something about our faith and about um, putting the word of God into action in our everyday life? It's time to take five. I bet you're getting used to my intro. You know, intros are the thing that people say when they start their podcast. Well, you'll say the same thing, but not everybody. So when I start my show, I say hello, put up a little finger, and God bless you. Then you take a moment to pause and to listen and learn. And I have a whole thing not memorized. It just always comes out about the same. So life is sometimes planned out. And my husband and I talk a lot about this. And other times it's unpredictable. It's extraordinary. It's something that happens that you did not expect. Something that's different than what you were normally doing. Deb received an unexpected letter. See, the little picture of my friend Debbie Cosper. It was a blessing. I go, oh, a letter. You know, I love letters. I love mails. I, I sent out a lot of mail. But it was not what it said. It was just the fact of something unexpected. And the scripture, he fills my life with good things. You know, God does fill your life with good things. He uses people to do that. Sometimes the Lord will prompt me to send a card or a letter to someone. It's not for their birthday. It's not for Christmas. They're not sick and they're not unhappy. Just all of a sudden out of the blue, I say, I'll send a letter. They are not expecting the unexpected, but when it happens, they go, whoa, it made my day. How about you? Do you listen to the voice of the Lord? And when God says, could you send a letter to or a card or buy that little gift, a package? How about a phone call? Expecting the unexpected is what makes people stay. The ordinary are the things that happen, like if you call your mother every day, they expect that. Or if you call your children every few days, they expect that. But some long lost friend from the past or some new friend that they didn't think, remembered that they gave their number, that's the unexpected. Look at my hair, this is the unexpected right now. Look, do you see it? One piece is just sort of standing up. It's the unexpected. See, it can be fixed. <laughs> Everything will be changed. So today, I'm going to talk a little bit about how to hear God's voice and to listen for his voice and then how to act on it. When I was a young Christian, God taught me right away that I could hear his voice in my own heart. If I be really still and I'm praying, he inspires me to do things and to walk places and to be places. I listen, obey, and he God bless me. One day I was praying and I heard, I was heard the Lord say, to go to the airport, and I did. I wanted to be a stewardess, you see, and I was I was waiting to do that when I moved to Miami. It didn't happen right away. A few months into being an exercise instructor, God said, go to the airport. That was the very day that they needed stewardesses in Air Florida. My roommate and I were hired that day. We, we got measured for our uniform that week, and we were, we were just beyond. So God speaks to us in our heart. God also speaks to us through other people. I always say it's plain as the nose on your face. You can't see your own nose. God may use your, your correction of other people to change you in an area because they see what you don't see. He may use the encouraging words of other people to bless you because you may not hear when God says, I love you and you're fearfully, wonderfully made. But if someone else says, you really bless me today just by being you, you can hear that because they're right there in front of you. So God uses his word also. You read the Word of God and something pops out at you. You go, wow, I didn't see that before. It's speaking right to my heart. So that's three ways right there. In your heart, through His Word, and through other people. God may bless you and let you hear His voice through circumstances. Something happens in your life, and it happens over and over again. And you say, wow, <laughs> the bear went around the mountain. and You just see what he can see, what I'm supposed to see, Lord. What is this that you're doing in my life? And you don't really realize it until you have a recurring circumstances and then you catch on. Or maybe the Lord has you have a desire in your heart to be go back to college and then someone sends you a college information out of the blue. And someone says to you, by the way, you would probably do well to go back to college. It will fill you and a need that you have. It'll make you feel that you're fulfilling a dream you always had. So see, that's another way God speaks to us. There's so many ways he speaks to us. Does, how does he speak to you? I'd like to hear from you. This is Ellen Morgan from Wow Mom. You know that you can catch me on YouTube in my show, but you can also email me at wowellen at yahoo.com. My heart is to mentor young women. 
because they are new at what we already, us older women, Titus 2, age, older women should teach the younger women, already know. So I just believe that everybody has a way of hearing the Lord. And these are some ways that I do, but some most people hear the Lord in similar ways. So today, if you hear his voice, harden not your heart. Rise up, women. God needs you to be listening to him and obeying. He has something for you to do, and it's going to be good. So today, listen and obey. Hear his voice through your heart, in prayer, through others, through the word of God, through circumstances, and even through trials. Listen for him. Because if you hear a voice, his voice, not a voice, hard not your heart. Be blessed today and catch my YouTube channel. Sign on, please. It's Ellen Mongan, and you'll see many, many podcasts I've done. This Take Five, Five Minute Podcast is the most favorite because it's very short. So thank you for taking a minute with me. Catch my Wild Mom um, longer show, the Wild Mom Interviews, Carol Moletta. And she did a great job. You'll want to catch that one today. So may God bless you and have a good one.